I mean, we're way ahead of where we were last year with both quarterbacks, you know, certainly just by experience alone, right? We came into this, we were, we were having this same meeting, right? And your number one and number two quarterback hadn't played, right? That's a different feeling for a head coach than coming in here and they've won football games and they've had success, they've been in the mix. Um, so obviously we're way ahead of where we were last year. And, and now you guys weren't there at the end, but we're spending most of the time at the end of practice working on situational football, you know, and, and, and that's where we've got to be learning at the quarterback position is the situational football. And, and that was different. We couldn't do that last year. We would have loved to have been there. Yeah, I don't know what Birch was thinking. I, I told him to keep you there. He, he's, he's been really tough this year. Well, Brendan and Ian, as I mentioned to, to Eric, I mean, you're, you're just getting a more mature player that, that is confident in their ability. So both of them are extremely confident. Like, there's no thought process of, you know, uh, you know Ian's with the ones. Uh, you know, everybody's quite confident in his ability to run our first team. Um, so that's, that's no longer an effect. If you asked me last year at this time, if, if Ian went in there with the ones, there might be some, you know, hesitation you know, as to can he lead us. So that obviously is, is huge for us. As it relates to Brandon, it's just, you know, consistency with accuracy. And um, he's made progress there. He's not where he wants to be, um, but he's made significant progress even from the spring, and that's better than what we saw during the year. So incremental progress, um, you know, I think we're all striving for, for better, but um, – you know, again, I think we've made the progress necessary. Offensively, I think it's dispersion of the football to a number of different weapons. You know, Boykin, Claypool, Fink, Jafar Armstrong, Avery Davis. Uh, we've got three tight ends, you know, four tight ends that can catch the football. So a lot of weapons there. Tony Jones. I mean, I could go on and on. I mean, we've got some pretty good depth and guys that can help this football team.